Challenge Micah Parsons to a game at your own peril. First, you'll hear this. Warm up first. Then you'll get rocked. You ready? Because as soon as I press play, it's going. This is a professional athlete against a very not professional athlete. <laughs> and then you'll hear about it. You ever watch Game of Thrones? Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I ain't throwing that. <laughs> It's that attitude that has made Micah Parsons the brightest young rookie in the NFL, just two games into his first year with the Dallas Cowboys. Because whether it's chess, and you blundered, because I blundered. Pool, pop a shot, or football, he wants to win. I feel like I have to be good at everything. Like, I'm like, coach, like, I want to play perfect. Like, I don't believe in playing with mistakes, like blunders. <laughs> That's what I love it. Like, I believe I said, I want to play perfectly. He's like, there's no such thing as playing perfect. I said, maybe to you. After he was taken by the Cowboys in the first round of April's NFL draft, Parsons moved to Dallas with his mom, Sharice, his brother, Duran, and his insanely adorable three-year-old son, Malcolm. Well, he means everything to me. There you go. Just uh, light, light. Go, just, just go straight. There you go. He doesn't even know it yet or understand like what's going on around him, but. I'm glad, like, and so he can enjoy something like this and enjoy an experience because the way I grew up was something completely different than this. Parsons grew up in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, 2255 Jefferson Street, in an area called Uptown. It's the culture down there is more black and, like, you know, yeah. I grew up in the Boys and Girls Club. Parsons played every sport and every game you could get his hands on, and I mean every game. We took gym volleyball. Of course, I won the championship. We Micah's team knew that Micah was going so hard at the game, like he didn't want to lose, that they would just stand out of bounds and like, literally, if the ball came to him, all they had to do was move because Micah was literally roaming the whole court. He enjoyed it so much, he went out for the high school team with his friends Duran and AJ. Yeah. But don't bring that up. It's a sore subject for one of them. You like that, AJ? <laughs> <laughs> It's in these moments that Micah has exactly what he's looking for. Family, by his side, sharing in the journey he's just beginning. Me and my mom talk all the time, every day. Kind of just gives me like a nice, like, different feeling than from when I'm at work all the time. So that's why I like to be surrounded by people that I love. And he's carrying the city of Harrisburg proudly on his back. It means everything. Like, I think one thing as a kid, you're always looking for like hope or a sign of like, I'm doing the right thing, you know what I mean? So I want to show kids like, you go to school, you could, you know, get your degree and do everything that you could ever dream of. To go to Penn State, graduate in three years and do the things that he's doing and trying to, you know, encourage them and to give back to the city. I think it really means a lot to the, like, the younger kids because so when they see him, they be like, you know, they act like he's a celebrity. I guess maybe he is now, but. <laughs> <laughs> and with his hometown and that newfound celebrity as added motivation, Parsons is focused on greatness. Why stay at a 99 when you get to 100? Like, why don't you just ever want that extra one? Like, if we both 99s, like, what would be the difference between me and you? That means I just gotta, I'm gonna just beat you. There's just no better feeling than beating a person across from you. So it's never just a game, it's more than just a game. Like, football is more than just a game. It's just so many things are just worth more because of the lessons that come with it. They always ask me, is it hard? But nah, like, I'm just getting started, bro.